Hi guys, I'm back to talk about adult diapers. So, uh, in this video, I wanted to talk about how uh, the ABDL community and ABDL diapers has improved the incontinence market. And honestly, how they've improved, uh, you know, my personal quality of life. So, what's wrong with medical companies and the way they market diapers and the way they uh their business model i guess i don't know so uh basically the way i look at it um medical companies seem to have this idea that they want to emphasize how embarrassing incontinence is and they want to uh, make diapers as thin as possible, as discreet as possible. Uh, but I think they are completely missing the mark. So if you want your, nobody to see that you're wearing diapers, uh, well, first of all, you are not going to be able to wear the same clothes. Uh, for instance, this outfit here. This is not very discreet. I would not wear this to work, you know. Um, I do wear this for these videos. Uh, I'm not worried about discretion in these videos. I'm talking about adult diapers. And these are, uh, you know, I wear diapers that protect me. Uh, but when we talk about uh, being discreet in wearing adult diapers, uh, if you have a, a bulky diaper on, you can wear uh, bigger pants. You can wear uh, the t-shirts that snap in the midsection. You can wear, you know, jackets that, uh, you know, are a little longer. There are plenty of ways to completely disguise a diaper to where nobody can see it. Um, if you wear something real thin like this, or, you know, maybe even th a thicker, uh, traditional style diaper that's a medical brand. You know, if you have very, very minor incontinence problems, like maybe a little comes out if you sneeze or, you know, stand up or something, you know, maybe these work fine. But for somebody with uh, like full-blown uh, incontinence, like no control over your bladder, these diapers are gonna be the least discreet and here's why. Uh, the obvious reason is that these are more likely to leak. They don't hold as much because they're thinner. Uh, leaks are not very discreet. I would much rather have a little bit of uh, bulk in my midsection than have a wet spot. Also, if you wear a real thin diaper like this or this with heavy incontinence issues, uh, you're going to be changing your diaper many times throughout the day. You're going to be going through more products. You're going to be spending more money. And, you know, that might be great for companies like Covidin and Depend and, you know, companies like that. Uh, they're going to sell more product because they're just not good products. Well, let me rephrase that. They're not good products for people with full, heavy incontinence. They're great products for people with very, very, very minor incontinence. Uh, like me personally, um, all of my urine goes into my diapers, unfortunately. And I also stay hydrated. I drink plenty of water. If I wore diapers like this, like to work, I would be in the bathroom several times a day, untaping my diapers, making a bunch of rustling noise, carrying a backpack, you know, to the bathroom. It would be not discreet at all. Everybody would know that I'm wearing a diaper, even if they can't see uh, a bulge underneath my pants. But if I wear an ABDL diaper, 
which, you know, don't get me wrong, there are medical companies that do make high capacity, very good quality diapers, but they're not the uh, norm, they're the exception, unfortunately. Like, you can't go to Walmart and buy uh, something better than this, you know. This is about all they got. And if you go to Walmart, any grocery store, you go to a drugstore like CVS or Walgreens, this is going to be the best you can find, unfortunately. Um, if I wear a diaper like this to work, you know, yeah, I might have to wear a different pair of pants. That's not a big deal. But this will last me probably all day without any leaks. And uh, I like that idea a lot better than having to change my diaper every two hours or having to have leaks. That is not what you want. Um, <clears throat> so another thing, you know, on the same topic, if you're going to the bathroom all the time with a backpack and you're making a bunch of weird noises in the bathroom stalls and, you know, looking suspicious, you're going to draw attention to yourself. Uh, wearing the proper product that will work for you is going to draw the least amount of attention. I mean, it's it should be a no-brainer, but, you know, it doesn't seem like a lot of people understand that. <clears throat> um, so, another thing about drawing attention to yourself, if you're, if you're wearing a diaper like this, and you're uh, you know, one bladder leak away from a leaky spot, a wet spot on your pants, then you're probably going to be thinking about your diaper all day and worrying about your diaper all day. But if you uh, wear something much thicker like this with proper leak guards, you don't have to worry about it. So, just the uh, simple fact that you forget that you're wearing a diaper is going to make it more discreet. You're not going to be, you know, looking down at your pants. You're not going to be feeling for leaks. You're not going to be doing any of that. What you're going to be doing is you're going to be, uh, what you're supposed to be doing, looking at people uh, in the eyes when you talk to them. Uh, if, you're, if you're making eye contact with somebody, guess what they're not going to do? They're not going to look down at your crotch, uh, unless they're a total creep, you know. Uh, <clears throat> so, I think the key to being discreet is having a product that's going to work for you that you can just forget about it. You don't have to check your diaper constantly. You don't have to go into the bathroom with a bag every two hours. And you don't have to worry about your coworker in the stall next to you hearing your diaper rustling around or hearing the tapes. So, uh, anyway, I've kind of gotten off the topic. I wanted to talk about how um, ABDL community and ABDL diapers have improved the market and as well as my mental health, to be completely honest. Uh, because I feel like... Uh, the improvements that, that have been made to the products and the stigma that has, uh, hasn't gone away, but the, um, the emphasis on it being about freedom. You know, I feel like ABDL, when people talking about ABDL diapers, they're talking about the freedom that they give you, about how, you know, you put this on and you don't have to even you can completely forget that you have incontinence. You're just worry-free. But if you have something like this, you know, you're gonna be having so much anxiety. Uh, it's, you know, I feel like medical diapers represent people who are embarrassed. And ABDL diapers represent people who are confident and um, are free. I guess. Um, 
I hope you like this video. Uh, you might notice that here is a uh, diaper that I have not reviewed yet. Uh, this is a diaper from a company called Little for Big. Uh, and it's actually a very, very good diaper. And um, I will review this in a future video. Uh, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If uh, you've found that this video is helpful to you, if, you know, maybe you have a friend of yours or a family member who is maybe trying to be discreet the wrong way, you know, like if they're trying to be discreet by wearing an inferior product and then they're actually making themselves less discreet, you know, maybe show them this video so they can, um, you know, see my point of view. Everybody has their own point of view. Um, nobody's point of view is right or wrong. It's just their point of view. And by the way, if these diapers work for you, if they work for your level of incontinence, by all means, use them. If, uh, you know, different products work for different people, that's why they exist. And different products and level of protection work for different uh, circumstances. Um, for instance, you know, if you're going to go to the gym or you're going to go uh, do some yard work, you know, you might not need a real thick diaper. It might get in the way. You might not even um, urinate as much if you're sweating. So, you know, me personally, I wear a different diaper to work than I do to bed because I need a different level of protection. And uh, it's all about figuring out what products and combination of products work best for you. And that's something that you're going to have to figure out. And I really hope that uh, my videos uh, help you with that. I know that a lot of videos online have helped me with that. Um, one of them I'd like to uh, mention is uh, Diaper Dynamo. Um, I love his videos. And, uh, you know, if you, uh, you know, want to look for him and give him a subscribe, go for it. All right, thanks. Bye.